Welcome to our lesson, Math in Python. So in this lesson, we're going to study how to find the mean and that we will be identifying how to calculate the mean using Python. But before going to that, let's first define what a mean is. So a mean is the average or the most common value in a collection of numbers. And there are actually two ways how to calculate the mean. We can use the arithmetic mean which is actually the most common one that we use. And this is what we're going to use for our lesson. And the other way is also what we call the geometric mean. So this formula can tell you how to calculate this kind of method. So basically for this time, what we're going to have is the arithmet arithmetic mean. Let's go to this one. There are two things that we have to know first. These are the sum and the length. So what is this sum? Sum is actually... Of course, you know that it's the sum total of the entries in this list. So we have here, for example, a variable A. And then we have here the list of numbers assigned to this variable. And then when we execute this one using the sum function, we could get 159. What about the length? So length means that how many entries we have in this list. So here, using the length function or the length function, we could say that there are 15 entries in this list. Because we already have understood how to identify the sum and the length, now let's go to this one. First and foremost, what we have to do is we're going to define the function. So in this case, our function name is calculate mean. And then we have assigned here the argument numbers. So numbers here is actually the list of numbers. Then here we have sum num which is the sum of these numbers here, and then the list num, which is the length of the list numbers here. Now, what we do here is that we calculate the mean and how we do that. So basically, it's very basic is we just divide the sum by the list num, or the number of entries in the list, and then we return the mean. After this definition, of the function or defining the function, what we do now here is we have in this case another list. So in this case, as you could see, we have a list that contains real numbers here. And what we do here is that we then calculate the mean wherein we call this calculate mean function and we use this list income here as our argument. And then of course we get the length of the list income. And with that, we can now print this. And because we want the result to be in whole number without any decimal places, we use here round. And then let's execute this one. And this will give us 706. With this, we can say that the average income of 13 persons is 706. The mean actually gives us as a summary of a certain situation. However, mean is not enough to give us the real story or even the behind scene of a certain situation. So in our future lessons, we're going to have more discussions about any other ways on how to summarize a certain story. Do you want to know more about this channel? Let's click these cards. We do have a lot of free data science courses for free, like machine learning essentials, deep learning mathematics, and a lot more. Here, you can always learn an upskill for free.